Hi, I'm Kimberly Ming Sewell. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube yoga channel. Those of you that have been practicing with me for a while, welcome back. Today we're going to do a classic Hatha Vinyasa flow. You will want your yoga mat close to the wall and you may want a yoga block or a book, something to be used as a yoga block. We're going to begin seated in a comfortable position, whatever's comfortable for you. Pull the navel in, roll the shoulder blades back, relax the arms, close your eyes. Bring your thoughts inwards. Scan your body. Pay attention to discomforts you may be experiencing within the body. What feels good today? What's a little achy or complaining today? And then focus on clearing the mind. Everything that's happened before today or everything that you need to achieve after this yoga session is complete. These are the thoughts you need to set aside during the course of time it takes to do this yoga class. Every time thoughts of other things come to mind, do your best to sweep them aside bringing your attention back to the here and now and your task at hand. Begin to set intentions. You have set aside time to come to the yoga mat to practice yoga today. So as feelings of frustration or boredom or if you get discouraged and want to stop, begin to come to mind. Bring your thoughts back to your breath and to your original intention of spending quality time with yourself on the mat to better you, your mind, your body, Begin focusing on your breath. Notice when you breathe in, you're filling your lungs completely full. And when you breathe out, you're emptying your lungs completely empty, slowly on the inhale and the exhale. And on your next inhalation, in through the nose, feel your lungs completely full, slowly. Hold your breath. And exhale, releasing through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. Hold your breath briefly. Exhale through the mouth, making a sound. Releasing tension. And again, inhaling through the nose. When the lungs are completely filled, slowly hold your breath. And exhale through the mouth. Close the mouth. For the remainder of the time, we're going to inhale and exhale through the nose. Slowly begin opening your eyes. Slowly work yourself onto all fours for our warm-up pose. 
knees, hip distance apart underneath the hips, wrists, shoulder distance apart. Rotate your hands outwards towards the sides and as far around as possible. The goal one day is to have the fingers pointing towards the knees. You may not have that flexibility today. Just go as far as you can. Shoulders still on top of the wrist. And now we're going to draw a circle with your shoulders around the wrist. Pull the navel in. You're firming the belly. That's to protect your spine. Don't let the belly hang down relaxed towards the floor. Take this movement as fast or as slow as your body deems necessary. And let's reverse. And come back to a neutral position. Your fingers are still pointed towards the knees. Belly is still in place. Cat and cow warming up the spine, hips, and neck. Exhale. Press the spinal column up to the ceiling as you look down between the thighs. Press the shoulders up towards the ears. Inhale. Sway the spine. Press the shoulders away from the ears as you look up. Tailbone up. Continue, exhale. Again, your breath is your tempo. You are perhaps slower or faster at this than I am. It absolutely does not matter. Your mouth is closed. You're following your breath. Extra pressure on all the fingertips. So you don't have so much pressure on the wrists, otherwise your wrists will begin experiencing discomfort. Three more rounds. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale third time. Going extra deep into both stretches. Exhale. Inhale, straighten out the spine and slowly work your hands back into positioning where your fingers are pointing forward. From here, we're going to go into puppy pose. So big toes together behind you, sit the buttocks back. Your buttocks may not reach your heels, does not matter. Arms are straight, palms of the hands are on the floor. Arms are parallel with each other and still shoulder distance apart. Begin stretching the palms of the hands forward as you lift the buttocks up. If you do not have the flexibility to set your chin on the floor, it's okay to place the forehead on the floor. Those that have the flexibility, ideally someday, you want the chin on the floor and eventually we're working on getting the armpits and the chest onto the floor. So go to your pose, wherever that may be, and start focusing on the breath. Find peace in the pose, press the shoulders away from the ears. If you're experiencing compression in the lower spine, Try to elongate the spine more and find space between the vertebrae behind the heart. Pull the belly in. And at this point, if you can go a little bit deeper, do so or stay right where you are. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Firm belly. Slowly come back up to all fours. Tuck the toes under, toe balls on the floor now. 
Looking down between the thighs, slowly lift the knees off the floor and come into Downward Facing Dog. Downward Facing Dog, your feet are hip distance apart and perfectly parallel with each other. That means your heels are behind the second and third toe. Lift the sit bones up, hollow out the belly. Elongate the spine down, press the shoulders away from the ears. The top of the head is reaching for the space between your thumbs and focus on your armpits. Rotate your armpits towards each other, in towards each other, like you're trying to get your armpits to face each other. That is making our shoulders broader. Inhale, look forward, slowly walk your, hand, your feet towards your hands. Feet are together, bend your knees, fold. The upper body relaxes against the thighs, relax the neck, Top of the head hangs down towards the floor. Firm belly to support the spine. Slowly roll up and it's okay to use your hands on your legs or thighs for support. Come all the way up to standing, roll your shoulder blades back and we're in Samastitihi position. Samastitihi, ready position, standing forward on your yoga mat with your feet together. Belly button pulled in, elongate the spine. Surya Namaskara A, three times. Inhale, stretch your arms up and look through the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, hands are on your legs, maybe you can reach the floor. It's okay to bend your knees here, relax the neck. Inhale, look halfway up, elongate the spine. Exhale, bend the knees and walk yourself into a high plank. If you need to, place your knees on the floor at this point. Bend your elbows. Your elbows are touching your body. Notice the straight line from the top of my head down to the tailbone as you slowly lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Tops of your feet are on the floor now. Inhale, upward facing dog. Roll your shoulders back. Use your hands to press up. Lift your knees off the floor. Press the heart forward. Let your head fall back. Your hands are tight against the floor. Exhale, toe balls on the floor again and press yourself up into downward facing dog. Sit bones are reaching for the sky, heels are reaching for the floor, top of the head reaching between the thumbs, straight arms. Rotate your shoulders so that your armpits are going towards one another, gazing between the thighs. Inhale, look forward. Slowly walk your feet back forward. Exhale, fold from the hips, relax the spine, relax the neck. It's okay to bend the knees. Firm belly, inhale, come all the way back up, stretching the arms up out of the shoulders as if you're trying to touch the ceiling with the fingertips. Exhale, Samastitihi. We're gonna do this two more times. Experience yogis, take it as deep as you need to. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen the spine. Exhale, carefully walk back, jump back, or float back. Depends on where you are in your practice. Inhale, all the way up to upward facing dog. Shoulder blades roll back. Lift the knees, heart forward, head back. Exhale, downward facing dog, where we're going to stay for five breaths. One, hollow out the belly. Two, sit bones to the sky, heels to the floor. Four, five, inhale, look forward, walk your feet forward carefully with bent knees or float or jump back. Looking forward, exhale, forehead towards the legs. Inhale, come up, stretch the arms up over the head. Try to touch the ceiling with your fingers. Exhale, Samasitihi. Last one. Echo inhale. Dvai exhale. Tini inhale, look up and lengthen. Jutoi exhale, jump back into the Shatrana Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog, hold here, five breaths. Elongate the spine, press the shoulders away from the ears. Externally rotate the arms, armpits towards each other. Inhale, look forward. Those of you who are working on floating your feet back, engage the armpits before you then float back forward. Exhale, fold, relax the spine, relax the neck. Firm belly, inhale, come all the way up. Stretch up. Exhale, samastitihi. From here, we're going to want to come down onto the belly, and you might want your block. All the way down onto the belly, block close by. Come up into Sphinx. So your elbows are underneath the shoulders, palms of the hands are down on the floor, and lots of space between the fingertips. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Elongate the spine. Think you're trying to touch the ceiling with the top of your head at the same time. You're trying to press the heart forward, but try to find space behind the heart in the spine. Two, three, four, five, go deeper, six, seven, press the shoulders more down, eight, heart more forward, nine, head more up to the ceiling, ten, Tuck the toes in, come up onto all fours again, except for your elbows are still on the floor. And from here, try to lift the butt up like you were in down dog. So we're now in dolphin pose with the elbows down. Relax the head down towards the floor. Feet are hip distance apart. Heels may or may not touch the floor. You're elongating the sit bones up to the sky. And if your hands are trying to go in towards each other at this point, that's where you need the block. If you're using a block, place the block between the hands with the thumbs below and your hands on each side, hands parallel, arms parallel with each other into dolphin pose. Fill the lungs, empty the lungs, armpits towards each other. Hollow out the belly, relax the neck, exhale, knees down on to the floor. Sitting up back on the heels, roll the shoulders back, inhale, exhale, rest. Again. Hands on each side of your block. Curl your toes underneath you. Hands are firmly pressed against the floor. Lift the sit bones up. Your knees may be bent and that's okay. You're pressing firmly with the shoulders away from the ears, elongating the spine. Those of you who are stronger, more flexible, more experienced, if you want to begin to walk your feet in, maybe lift one foot up, Hold for one, two, three, four, five, exhale, changing legs or staying right where you are, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, foot down, knees down, slowly come back to sitting on the backs of your heels, Roll your shoulders back, relax the arms. Navel is still pulled in. Inhale, exhale. Here comes the wall. If you're using a block, place the block towards your wall and hands are down on an inhalation. Kick up, press down through the arms. Some of us are not ready to kick up yet. If you're not ready to kick up yet, then 
You want to stay in dolphin pose. The secret to finding balance is squeezing the legs, squeezing the buttocks. One, two, if you fall down, come back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come down, sitting back onto the heels, roll your shoulder blades back, elongate the spine, lift the heart up, inhale, exhale. Remember, stay within the depth of the pose that your body has business staying in. If you noticed your hands started sliding into each other, find that book so that they don't do that during this practice. All fours, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, walk your feet back to the hands. Exhale, hang with the upper body, relax the neck, relax the spine. Firm the belly, slowly roll up. Sun salutation B, so you're not to B. Bend the knees, fingers on the floor, knees stay bent. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, walk gently, jump or float your feet back all the way down into Shatadama Dandasana. Use your knees on the floor if need be. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, come up on the balls of your feet. Right leg comes into the body, moves forward. Left foot all the way down onto the floor. Come up into Virabhadrasana A. Bend the right knee 90 degrees. Look up through the thumbs. Exhale, Shatarana Dandasana, that means yoga push-up. So walk your foot back. If you need to, place your knees on the floor, elbows touch the body. Inhale, upward facing dog, pull the knees off the floor, press the heart and the hips forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lots of space between the fingers, extra pressure on the fingertips. Inhale, up on the toe ball, come forward with the left foot. Virabhadrasana or warrior one. Exhale. Hands down, yoga push up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Use your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here, five breaths. Feet are parallel, hips reaching to the floor. Elongate the sit bones up. Elongate the spine down, top of the head, searching for the space between the thumbs. Outwardly rotate the arms and shoulders, armpits pointing towards each other, theoretically. Hollow out the belly. Inhale, look forward. And walk carefully your feet back to the hands or jump your feet towards the hands. Eventually, float your feet back towards the hands. Look up and lengthen. Exhale. Fold forward, nose to knees. Your knees can be a little bit bent here. Bend the knees now. Bend your knees so much that your upper body is touching the thighs. Keep your legs here. Inhale, come up with the upper body, but don't straighten the knees. And let the head fall back. Try to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. Pull the belly in. Two, stay here in chair position in Katasana. Three, four, five, and these are still bent. Left elbow is onto the right thigh. Hands are in prayer. Try to get your thighs parallel to the floor and look over the right shoulder. Those that have more to give, more flexible, try to get the knee into the armpit and the left hand on the floor, right arm up to the sky. Eventually, that right arm goes behind the back. Grab the thigh of the left leg. 
Open the heart and shoulder to the sky. And come back into Utkatasana and stand up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, arrest. Again, Utkatasana. Bend the knees, upper body is on the thighs. Come up into Utkatasana chair pose. Pull the tailbone forward. Pull the belly in, stretch the arms up to the sky, and right arm is on the right elbow is on the left thigh. Hands are in prayer. Little twist here. More to give. Hand on the floor. Stretch the arm up. Those that are even more flexible, start reaching the arm behind the back and search to grab the thigh. Open the heart more, elongate the spine. Notice that the head is forward of the feet and not going to the side. And really hard, come back up into Utkatasana and exhale, arrest. Stand here, Samastitihi. Inhale, exhale. Feet are together, legs are straight. Inhale, lift the arms up and stay here. Elongate the spine, try to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And on an exhalation, the upper body, start stretching it to the right. You're looking ahead now. Gaze is straight ahead. Inhale, stretch the body more. Exhale, sink the hands close to the floor. Press the opposing hip out to the side. Pull the belly in. Inhale, come up. Exhale here. Opposite side. Inhale, elongate. Find space between the vertebrae. Exhale, bend to the side. Spinal flexibility, critically important. Inhale, elongate. Exhale. Work with the breath. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale and exhale, and rest. Inhale, arms up. Elongate the spine, pull the belly in. Feet are together. Press the hips forward. Start searching for space between the vertebrae. Elongate the spine up. Look back at the thumbs. Press the hips forward, elongate the spine. Press the heart up to the sky and fall back. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, fall back. If it feels okay, you can let your arms start falling back too. When you start experiencing compression, find space behind the heart. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, inhale. Rest. Now, come down into Malasana. We're coming down into a squat. And this is going to take a little bit of the pressure off of our lower spine that we were just possibly experiencing. You want to try to get your heels on the floor. So open your feet as wide as possible from each other to try to do this. Hands are in prayer. Use your elbows to open the knees out. Try to get your thumbs to the heart. Press the shoulders down, inhale, exhale. Notice the stretch on the lumbar, the lower spine. Crow pose. Vakasana. Hands are on the floor, lots of space between the fingers. Firmly against the floor and we're pressing extra hard on all 10 fingertips. Come up onto the balls of the feet and we want to set our knees into the armpits. Experienced yogis, go ahead, do what you want to do. New beginners, we want to set the bone of the leg, the shin bone, against the bone of the arm. So we're not wanting to sit with the knees on the outside of the arms. Instead, we're wanting to pretend that the leg is a train and the back of the arms is the train track. Lean forward. 
And for some of us, this is the pose. We're gonna hold it for a count of 10. Maybe if you've got more to give, you can start working on lifting one foot, setting it down, lifting the other foot, setting it down. Experienced yogis, go ahead all the way up. Three, four heels to the butt. Five, straighten out the arms, those of you that have both feet off the floor. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And get yourself into Chakaranga Dandasana. So all the way down to the floor. Tops of the feet are on the floor. Experience yogis, you jumped back, you know what to do. Inhale, roll your shoulder blades back, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Just like warrior one, but we're gonna do warrior two. So hips and shoulders towards the left, arms to the side. Look over your right fingertips. You want your arms in line with each other. You want the right knee over the ankle. One. Two, three, four, hips and shoulders to the wall, five, left hand, left leg, right arm up, breathe. And warrior two again, straighten out the leg. Rotate, bend the left knee, hips and shoulders, going straight from the body, left knee over the ankle, arms in line with each other. Breathe, press the shoulders down from the ears, relax your shoulders. And right hand down on the leg, look up. Inhale, come back to warrior. Exhale, samastitihi, straight on your mat, rest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, step to the right, big distance between the feet. Rotate the right foot towards the back of the yoga mat, bend the knee, the knee is on top of the ankle, arms are out just like warrior two, and stretch the upper body, towards the thigh, fingertips go between the big toe and the second toe, arms are in line with each other, press the hips forward, no weight on the hand towards the floor, keep the strength in the legs, inhale, come up, rotate the right foot, back forward, rotate the left foot towards the front of the yoga mat, bend the knee, notice that the knee is over the ankle, stretch the upper body, so that the upper body goes towards the thigh. You can prop your elbow on your thigh, of course, but those that have more fingers go between the big toe and the second toe. Use the arm to press the knee back. Open the heart, the hips towards the ceiling. Look up towards the hand, towards the ceiling. Get control of the breath. Find peace of the pose. Feel your lungs. Empty your lungs. Inhale, come up, exhale, relax your arms. Feet are parallel with each other. Prasadita. Hands on hips, inhale, elongate. Exhale, fold forward. Now, if you need to bend your knees at this point, it's okay, it's okay. Set your hands on the floor at first and then start working on grabbing. Your hands go outside, grab your feet, Eventually grab the heels and the top of the head is reaching for the floor. Feet are parallel with each other. Pull the belly in, the weight is forward on the toes. Now some of you are here and that's okay. Relax the upper body. Doesn't matter that your head does not touch the floor in the beginning, but begin focusing on the fact that your weight is forward on the toes so that your hips are over the ankles and not back over the heels. 
That is a big secret on Sunday, getting the head all the way to the floor. Inhale, head up, clasp your hands behind your back, exhale, top of the head falls to the floor, your hands begin falling slowly to the floor. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. Those of you that can touch the floor, begin working on rotating your hands so that the palms of your hands are forward. And slowly come up again. Stop halfway. Let the blood start rushing back into the proper direction before you come all the way up. If you come up too quickly, just wiggle your knees, bend your knees a little bit to instigate a little bit of circulation before you then come back forward on your mat into Samastitihi. Inhale, exhale, pause. Come down to sitting. Navasana. So we're sitting with our sit bones feet together, hands are underneath the knees. Feet are on the floor, first and foremost, elongate the spine, pull the shoulders back, and lift the heels, toes are on the floor. More to give, lift the feet. More to give, hands outstretched. The palms of the hands, knee height, facing towards the knees. Those that have more to give, start Straightening the legs, looking up over the nose, over the toes, towards the ceiling. Elongate the spine out from the hips. Elongate the legs out from the hips. Cross your legs. Use your feet against the floor. Advanced yogis, you know what to do. New beginners, feet against the floor, hands on the floor. Roll like you're trying to touch your shoulders to your knees. And when you can accomplish that, begin working on lifting your butt. Advanced yogis, you're picking up the butt. And now everybody work on getting yourself all the way back into the yoga push-up. Shottaranga Dandasana. Shandasana. Arms beside the hips. Palms of your hands are pointing towards the ceiling. Feet are together. Elongate the legs out from the hips. On an inhalation, lift the upper body and look forward. Slide the hands more back. If possible, lift the feet. Your feet are together, relax the buttocks. Elongate the legs out of the hips. We're using our hamstrings here. Inhale, upper body and feet more up if possible. One last inhalation, up, exhale. Forehead on the floor, inhale, exhale, arrest. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows bent. Same thing. Elongate first, legs out from the hips. So you're trying to touch the wall behind you with your toes. Relax the buttocks. Inhale, feet together, lift without using the buttocks. Also use your hands. Find space behind the heart, roll the shoulders back. Shalambasana B. Hands can be closer to the hips if you have more flexibility. Fill your lungs and empty your lungs. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, exhale. Roll over onto your side. We're gonna work on side planks. So some of us, are gonna have our elbow down on the floor, and some of us are gonna have our hand on the floor, wrist underneath the shoulder, and we're coming up into a side plank. Remember, it's okay to have your elbow down, and for many of us, we're right here. Maybe you can lift your arm up. Maybe you can touch your big toe to your knee. Maybe you can grab your big toe and stretch that foot up while gazing up towards the foot. Exhale. Come down and change sides. Remember, be happy with where you are. Don't give up. If you need to come out of a pose for a rest, fine. Then try it again. And remember, it's okay to go into this 
on the elbow as opposed to up on the wrist. So the buttocks hip lifts up from the floor. So maybe you're here. Or lift the arm. Or just get the toe to the knee. Maybe you can only hold this for a breath before you come out. Next time you try, try to hold it longer. Eventually, grab the big toe and think, look up, elongate, fill your lungs, empty your lungs, and release the pose. Take a rest. Inhale. Exhale. Come on to all fours. Slowly work your way into downward facing dog. All fours. Tuck the toes. Lift the sit bones up, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog. So, we're gonna lift one leg up to the sky. I'm lifting my right leg, doesn't matter which one you have lifted. Lift it up to the sky. And bend the knee, look under the opposite elbow till you can see your foot. And if you can see your foot, then look down on the floor underneath that foot and think that's where I'm going to place my foot on the floor and go into wild thing. And play with these poses. Yoga's fun. Have fun with it. Come back into downward facing dog. Don't get frustrated over what you can or can't do. Don't get frustrated over what you were easily able to do last time, but your body's saying no this time. Stay within the realms of where your body needs to be. The opposite leg, for me it's the left leg, for you it may not be. So lift the opposite leg, three-legged dog. Bend the knee. Look under the arm at the foot that's in the air. Then look at the space on the floor, underneath the foot, and just slowly start rotating and sit that foot down before you then go into a hot thing. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. And come back into downward facing dog. Relax the neck, heels down towards the floor. Relax the shoulders, pull the belly in. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. Inhale, look forward. Come forward with the arms down into Chaturanga Dandasana, all the way to the floor. And we're going to start working on it. Bekasana. Right foot, bend the knee, foot to the sky. Right hand starts reaching back towards that foot. You may or may not be able to grab the foot. Just keep working on it if you don't have a chance. Those of you that can grab your foot, pull the foot towards the buttocks and to the outside of the hip. The hand on the foot, rotate the elbow to the sky, and the fingers now are pointing into the same direction as the toes. Eventually, start pressing the fingers down towards the floor. And release. Experienced yogis go into Bekasana with both legs at the same time and hold. New beginners, left side, grab the foot. Next step, rotate the elbow to the sky. Fingers are pointing into the same direction as the toes. Foot's on the outside of the hip. Start lifting. The secret here, firm the thigh and lift the knees up at the same time. And both feet eventually, grab the feet first, rotate elbows to the sky, fingers same direction as the toes, lift the knees up, press the fingers down, and relax the pose. Forehead on the floor, inhale, exhale. Elongate the spine, elongate the neck, top of the head, straight forward. Find space between all the vertebrae. And slowly work yourself up onto all fours. Camel pose is what we're going to do next. So, 
Our knees are directly underneath our hips. And first and foremost, firm the thighs, firm the buttocks. And start thinking, elongate the spine, and think first, hips forward. When you begin to feel compression in your spine, find more elongation and start thinking heart up to the sky. Let your head fall back. And start looking, start looking for space between the vertebrae behind the heart. Your hands can start reaching back towards the heels one at a time. Eventually, we have both hands on our heels. A really good cheat is to have the balls of your feet up on the floor. That will bring your heels closer to your hands. For those that need that in the beginning, we all need that cheat. When your hands are finally on your heels, start pressing the hips more, the heart up more, hips forward more, and firm the legs and the buttocks. Come back up, hands in prayer, sink the shoulders, fill the lungs, empty the lungs, come down to sitting. Jami Shushasana A. Legs are straight ahead. Bend the right knee so that the right foot comes up to the thigh. Your hips are rotating towards the left leg. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, fold from the hips. You may need to support yourself with your hands on the floor. We're stretching out from the hips. So the goal here is not to collapse in the spine and try to touch your leg with your forehead. Instead, elongate the spine, press this knee and this hip back, the right knee, the right hip back, your hips pointing forward. And on an inhalation, find more space between the vertebrae. On an exhalation, fold more forward. Those who can grab your foot or perhaps grab your wrist. It's okay to have that leg bent. I would rather see a bent leg than a bent spine. You're thinking elongate, elongate the heart towards the foot. You're looking at your big toe. Relax the shoulders, relax the hips. This is a hip opener. And inhale, come up, hips, chest forward. Open the knee and the leg more from each other. We're gonna go into a small twist. Remember, if you're expecting, you're not to twist ever in yoga when you're pregnant. Left hand is on the floor. Start stretching forward towards the foot. Your first goal is the shoulder down towards the knee. Right arm up towards the sky. Elongate the spine. Open the heart towards the ceiling. If you can grab your toes with the left foot, do so. Maybe you can grab the toes with both hands. And then you want to start like threading the needle. So bring the chest more through the arms. Inhale, come up. Exhale here. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, change legs. Jhana Shushasana A, opposite side. So the left foot comes in. The sole of the foot is towards the thigh. The hips and the shoulders rotate towards the straight leg. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, fold forward. Remember, it's okay to have a slight bend in the knee if you need to. And it's okay to support yourself with your hands on the floor. More flexibility, your leg is straight. Elongate the spine. Your heart is reaching for the foot. Your eyes are looking towards the big toe. Keep your hands on the floor if need be or grab your foot. Maybe someday grab your wrist. Remember, we're not forcing. We're never forcing in yoga. We're releasing. And every day our bodies are different. Listen and respect what your body tells you from day to day. If your body says, no, nah, today is really not the day to go so deep here. I'm not saying quit. I'm saying back off a little bit and be kind. But don't quit. Don't give up. Bring yourself back to the breath and find peace in the pose wherever you are today. 
Firm belly to support the spine, slowly come up, and we're gonna take that small twist. So open the leg and the knee farther from each other. Right hand on the floor, palm up, stretch the left hand up. This might be your pose today. Eventually, start sinking the right shoulder down towards the right leg. Eventually, someday, grab the foot. If possible, bend the left elbow, grab the foot. And if you can grab your foot with both hands, open the heart and the gaze more towards the ceiling. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. Don't overpress, don't overstress. Be happy where you are today. Find peace and compose. Use your breath. Inhale, come up slowly. Pull the belly in, elongate the spine. Exhale. Pashimottanasana, seated forward fold. Feet are together, inhale, pull it in, elongate. Again, it's okay to bend your knees here. Exhale, fold forward. Again, I don't want forehead to knees. I would rather see you right here, working on your breath with bent knees. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold more from the hips. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold more from the hips. Again, we're not forcing, we're releasing those with straight legs. Think heart to the feet. Eventually, grabbing your feet. Eventually, grabbing the wrists. We're not pulling with our arms. Instead, we're elongating the spine. We're firming the hamstrings. We're reaching with the heart. Maybe someday, chin to the legs, gaze still up towards the toes. Press the shoulder blades back, shoulders away from the ears. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. Inhale, firm belly. Slowly come up, bend the knees, soles of the feet on the floor, come down to lying down. Shoulder stand. First step in shoulder stand, the entire spine is on the floor. Advanced yogis, go ahead. Lift the legs, point your toes, feet together. If this feels good, the next step is to start trying to lift the buttocks off the floor. To do that, support your hips with your hands. Eventually, walk your hands closer to your shoulder blades, elbows closer together, behind the back. We're trying to get the ankles over the hips. So those of you who have your feet over your head now, feet, ankles, over the hips. And then you start trying to get the hips over the shoulders. And you're trying to touch the ceiling with your toes. If you're experiencing cramps in your toes or your legs or your belly or your hands here, that could be a sign you haven't had enough water in the past 24 hours. Fill your legs, empty your legs, try to touch the ceiling. Pull the belly in, your belly should look like a swimming pool, fix it. Bend the knees. Slowly lower the hips down to the floor. Take all the time that you need. Pressing the knees close to the chest to take the pressure off the neck. Straighten out the legs, come up onto your elbows and Press the heart to the sky, let the head fall back. From here, let the elbows slide out to the side so that the top of the head touches the floor. You're still pressing the chest up, so you have to dare to let your elbows slide out from each other. No fear, no fun. And if this feels comfortable, palms of your hands together, straight arms over the heart, and the next step is to lift the legs into Uttanasana, fish pose. Hello, abs. Fill your lungs into your lungs. Your back is not on the floor. The top of your head and your butt is. Exhale. Come down to lying flat. Feet on the floor, bent knees. Lift the buttocks up off the floor and let the spine Come down onto the floor one vertebrae at a time. Straighten the legs, feet out from each other. 
Arms are straight, arms are out to the side, away from the body, palms of the hands, towards the ceiling, shoulder blades flat against the floor. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhalation and a deep exhalation. And rest. Try to remain resting for at least five to 10 minutes after your yoga practices. It's a time for your body to assimilate and digest, if you will, the yoga you have just practiced. Sometimes it's helpful to scan the body so that each and every part of your body is relaxed. For example, focus on the toes, relax your toes. Relax the soles of your feet. Relax your ankles. When the ankles are relaxed, the little toes will naturally fall closer to the floor. Relax the calves and the shin muscles. Relax your knees. Soften the thighs, the hamstrings, and the tops of the thighs, completely relaxed. Relax your hips. Soften the belly. Soften the buttocks. Bring your focus up along the spine, both on the front and the back side, relaxing the entire way. Slowly up over the belly towards the heart. Slowly along the spine against the floor. All the way up to the shoulders. Allow the shoulders to relax and stretch a little farther from each other. Relax the arms, elbows, wrists, palms of your hands, and your fingertips. Bring your attention to the throat. Relax your chin. Relax the brow. Allow the top of your head, the scalp, to fall back towards the floor. Eyes are still closed. Breath is to a, back to a normal, spontaneous breath without any control. And rest. Continue your rest. And while you do so, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for practicing with me. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, make sure you comment. I love to get feedback from you guys. And if you know of anyone that may find this video helpful, please share. Looking forward to next time. Namaste.